the same zone, chapter 8, starting from verse 12, and uh, we'll continue to read up to verse 19. She said, No man, Lord, and uh, Jesus said to her, Neither do I condemn thee, go and sin no more. Then spoke Jesus again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that followed me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. But the first is therefore said unto him, Thou bearest record of thyself, thy record is not true. Jesus answered and said unto them, Do I bear record of myself? Yet my record is true. For I know whence I came, and whither I go. But ye cannot tell whence I come, and whither I go. He judge after the flesh, I judge no man. And yet if I judge, my judgment is true. For I am not alone, but I am the Father that sent me. 17. It is also written in your law that the testimony of two men is true. I am the one that bear witness of myself, and the Father that sent me bear witness of me. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, why I am, uh, we are going to study from here, why you are this author through eight. This is a very important word of God. It is also important to understand what Jesus Christ meant when he said, I am the light of the world. Now remember, more than uh, what Jesus said over here, he had a more deeper meaning. So when Jesus Christ said, I am the light of the world, in other words, he's declaring that I am the God of Abraham, Jacob, and Isaac. I am the God of the Old Testament. Because even David says, Shalwe, the Lord is my light. My salvation is my rock, my fortress, my buckle. Hallelujah. Now when you study from the Old Testament, the light is not other but the God of Abraham, Jacob, and Isaac. But when Jesus said, I'm the light of the world, what does it mean? It means that salvation is through me alone. Your rituals, your ordinances, your law, nothing can give you salvation. Your good works will not give you salvation. Your talents and your gifts, nothing can give you salvation. Your wealth, your smartness, your ability, or nothing that you have cannot give you salvation. Your good works cannot give you the salvation. I am the one and only who can give you the salvation. Hallelujah. So that's the best meaning when you said, I am the light of the world. Amen. Hallelujah. And then Jesus Christ dealing with the, the Jewish people over here, not with the Gentiles. If you see the context, it's very, very clear. <clears throat> because when Jesus goes on to say, the Jews have been accused by saying, the scribes and the Pharisees and the Jews people say that you have uh, the Pharisees therefore said unto him, Thou bearest record of thyself, thy record is not true. No one's going to believe you. No one's going to believe that you are God. Now, in other words, the Jesus Christ directly claiming his deity. He claimed to be God. Now, I really wonder, some of people are saying, the people who does not believe in the word of God, people who does not believe in the living word of God, people who stand against the living word of God, they keep on saying that Jesus Christ never claimed to be God. 
I don't know where if they don't have them no access to the Old Testament. If they do have an access to the Old Testament, if they have studied the Old Testament, then they would automatically they would understand that Jesus Christ indeed claims to be God. Prophets and angels, no one, he would be no one can claim and say, I am the light. Hallelujah. When Jesus Christ said, I am the light of the world, this is a direct proclamation that Jesus Christ claimed to be God. He claimed that he is the only Savior. He also further claimed that I am the light of the world. It means that I am the Savior that I am even I am. The Savior in this me, there is no Savior. That's what it means. Hallelujah. Let's go to the Bible to to the Old Testament and see some of the <coughs> sayings of God from the, uh, the Word of God. Now let's turn to Isaiah. In Isaiah chapter 43 and verse 11. <coughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Let's have a look at here. The Almighty God declared in verse 11, I report in verse 11, I am, I am the Lord and beside me there is no Savior. I have declared and have saved and sealed when there was no strength God among you. Therefore, ye are my witnesses, said the Lord, that I am God. In verse 15 also, I am the Lord, your Holy One, the Creator of Israel, your King. So again and again the Lord said, I am the Lord, I am Yahweh, I am Jehovah. I even I am the Lord, and beside me there is no Savior. So the people who have an access to the Old Testament clearly understood that there is only one Savior. Hallelujah. There is only one God. There is only one Savior. Hallelujah, amen. amen. That is the reason why even David said, The Lord is my light. The Lord is my fortress. The Lord is my buckler. Let's continue to read on. Hallelujah, amen. Let's see again from Psalm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah, amen. Let's read out first of all from the Psalm chapter 18. Hallelujah, Amen. Can you hear from our sister Psalm 13, verse 1? And verse 2, can you please read together? Psalms number 18, verse 1 and 2. I will love thee, O Lord, my strength. 2. The Lord is my rock and my false grace and my deliverer, my God, my strength, in whom I will trust, my buckler and the horn of my salvation and my high tower. Amen. Please continue to read in verse 27. Jesus Christ directly claiming that he is God. Hallelujah. Because the light, according to Psalm 27 verse 1, you can see there is only one God. The Lord, you can see that is a capital L, is a capital O, capital R, capital D. And what does it mean by this capital O, R, D? If we study from the Hebrew text, it simply means shall we. Oh, Jehovah, the one true God. Hallelujah. The God of Abraham and Jacob and Isaac declared. And now here David is saying, Yahweh is my life and my salvation. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So the one and only who is not as the life and salvation is the God of Abraham, Jacob, and Isaac. So when Jesus Christ claimed, Saying to the Pharisees, to the people of the Jews, when he said, I am the light of the world, this is what we are declaring to them that I am God. I alone are the Savior. Hallelujah. Because only the Almighty God can claim, only one true God, only He can claim these titles. I am the light. Hallelujah. Amen. 
And they were zoned for trade Jesus Christ as God, and he wanted to present Jesus Christ as God <coughs> to the Jewish people. And therefore, you can see the gospel of John starts with declaring the deity of Christ. John chapter 1. Hallelujah. You can see uh, verse 7 and 8. The same came for a witness to bear witness of the light. You can see this, the light, it's L capital. That all men through him might believe and say. Verse 8, he was not that light, but was sent to bear witness of that light. Hallelujah. You see, even the uh, John the Baptist could not be the light. Because the light is the title for God. It signifies that he is the creator of the heavens and earth. That he is the Lord God Almighty. Prophets cannot be light. So the one and only who can be the light is the creator of the heavens and earth. The one true God, the God of this universe. The God of Abraham and Jacob and Isaac. He alone can be the light. They were in birth and said he was not that light. But was sent to be a witness of that life. Amen. Hallelujah. <clears throat> now let's go a little bit further more here. Then what happened? As soon as Jesus Christ right, uttered these words, that I am the light of the world that follow me, shall not walk in darkness. That means, in other words, he that believe in me and follow my words, he that keep my commandments will never see that. Amen? That means they will never die. Not physical dying, but spiritually, you will never die. Amen? Hallelujah! That's what Jesus meant over here. Hallelujah! That's what I hear Jesus said declaring. He that follow me shall not walk in darkness. But shall have the light of life. Which means eternal life, abundant life, everlasting life. Verse 13. Then the Pharisees and their first said unto him, Thou bearest record of thyself. Thy record is not true. That in no matter what you say, there is no credentiality. Alright? No matter what you say, you can say whatever you want, but we will not buy it, we will not accept it, and we are not going to trust in you. Because there is no evidence, there is no proof. Then Jesus Christ goes on to say this very, very incredible thing. Jesus answered and said unto them, do I bear record of myself, yet my record is true. For I know whence I came, and whither I go, but ye cannot tell whence I come, and whither I go. Hallelujah. Because they do not accept that Jesus Christ is God and because of the flesh, and therefore Jesus said, you don't know where I come from and where I will go. And verse 15, he sets after the flesh. I judge no man. And then if I judge, my judgment is true. Even if I judge, my judgment is true because he is God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And this is also one way of declaring his deity to the, uh, the Pharisees and to the people of Israel. And then he goes on to say, I am not alone, but I and the Father that sent me. Please underline. I and the Father. Because in verse, you can see in here in verse 13, the Pharisees accused him by saying, Your thou bearest record of yourself. Thy record is not true. That means you have no evidence, you have no proof. That you come from God, that you are God, or you are God manifest in the flesh. There is no evidence to believe in what you are saying. Then Jesus 
Azarias goes on to say to them that I, Lord Juan, <coughs> will be a witness of myself alone. There is a two witnesses. Amen. Hallelujah. Let us try to understand what are the two witnesses. You can see in verse 17. And Jesus also reminded the Jewish people, the first is, that it is also written in your law. Amen. Hallelujah. That the testimony of two men is true. And it is according to the law of Moses. The testimony of two people are true. Alright, I cannot just claim and say I am just I am sinless or I am <coughs> I am righteous. In order to prove that I am a sinless or I am a righteous man, you need someone as a witness. Amen. Hallelujah. So therefore Jesus was reminding to them that according to the law of Moses, even according to the law, that the testimony of two men is true. So the testimony of these two men or this two witness is this. Now you can see verse 18. I am the bear witness of myself. And he goes on to say, and the father that sent me bear it witnesses of me. Hallelujah. Why did Jesus say my father was a bear witness of me? Because at that time Jesus wasn't in the flesh. Hallelujah. When Jesus uttered all these words, when he confronted these the Pharisees and Jewish people, and then at this time, we know that Jesus was in the flesh. Is there a body like you and I? He was in the flesh, so in other words, he's saying, Hallelujah. That means he's saying, My humanity, when he says that I'm the one that bear witness of myself. What does it mean? That in my humanity also bear witness that I am God manifest in the flesh. Hallelujah. And even my divine spirits also bear witness that I am the God manifest in the flesh. Unlike you people, I have the testimony and I have bear witnesses. Hallelujah. Therefore, the two witnesses are his humanity and his divinity. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And nobody on this earth can deny that Jesus had the two complete nature. Hallelujah. That Jesus Christ is both God and man. So, in order to understand these two witnesses, I want you to put your finger over here and let's continue reading. First Timothy chapter 3 and verse 16. <clears throat> Hallelujah. The first Timothy chapter 3 and verse 16. And without controversy, great is a mystery begotten as if God was manifest in the flesh. Hallelujah. And justified in the spirit. Seed of angels preach unto the dead that believe all in the world. Receive up into glory. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the two witnesses are the humanity and the divinity of the Lord Jesus Christ. That is God and man. That is God manifest in the flesh. Hallelujah. And we can also understand the two natures of our Lord Jesus Christ. There was a man, he died. Can God die? We know that God can never die. As a man, he died. But as God, he raised his own body. Hallelujah. We can also see in John chapter 2, in verse 19 and 20, Jesus answered and said unto them, Destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up. That said to Zeus, 40 
only in six years was this temple in building. And will thou rear it up in three days? Then let us see what was the answer from the Lord Jesus Christ. But he spoke of the temple of his body. Hallelujah. Wherefore, when now therefore he was reading from that, his disciples remembered that he had said this unto them. And they believed the scripture and the word that Jesus had said. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And then he died. But it's God who raised his own body. You can see in verse 20. Jesus said, Hallelujah, Amen. Jesus said, I will raise it up. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 As a man, he was not in the future. But as God, he is always on the signs. God who knows everything. As a man, he is not an omnipresent God. But as God, he is an omnipresent who knows everything. As God, he is not the, as God, as, as, as God is an omnipotent God. But as a man, he said, I have no power. I have no power. But as God, he has all the power. Praise the name of God. Hallelujah. As a man, he wept. But as God, he said, Lots of us come forth. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So you can see. That unlike you and me, the Jesus Christ had a two complete nature. Hallelujah. And that is the reason why the Jesus challenging the Pharisees and saying to them, unlike you people, my record is true. Hallelujah. And I had two witnesses. And therefore, Jesus goes on to say, my two witnesses are this. See again. I'm the one that bear witness of myself. It talks about his humanity. And the Father that sent me also bear witnesses of me. But we already studied from the Holy Scriptures. We can clearly understand the term fathers. The term fathers indicates the deity of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. In other words, the deity of Jesus Christ is the Father. Hallelujah. And the verse that chapter 9 verse 6 declares, <clears throat> right, for unto us the son is born, the son is given. So there will be no the term son and child is, is humanity, but the term father and the mighty God indicates this divinity. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. They ever understand that Jesus said, I bear witness of myself and Hallelujah. Jesus also says, the Father that sent me also bear witnesses of me. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When he said, my Father also bear witness of me, is referring to his deity. Hallelujah. But what we need to understand is the Father is not a separate person from the Lord Jesus Christ. Ever you can see in John 14 verse 10 and 11, that Jesus declared, he said, I am the Father, the Father is in me. He that hath seen me, hath seen my Father. Hallelujah. Let's read out here and let us pray. St. John chapter 14 and verse 7 to verse 11. So they have a this given memory. The two witnesses are the humanity of Jesus Christ and his divinity. Hallelujah. Bear witness. That Jesus Christ is God manifest in the blood. That Jesus Christ is the Lord God Almighty. Let's read out the sentence of the 14, verse 7 to 11. If you had known me, you should have known my Father also. And henceforth, ye know him and have seen him. And Philip said unto him, Lord, she was the Father, and in sufficiency. And Jesus said unto him, 
Have I been so long time with you? And yet has thou not known me, Philip? He that hath seen me hath seen the Father. And how sayest thou then she was the Father? Verse 10. Believest thou not that I am the Father, and the Father in me? The words that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself. But the Father that dwelleth in me, he doeth the works. Verse 11. Believe me that I am the Father. Believe me that I am the Father. And the Father in me. Or else believe me for the very works sake. In other words, Jesus said, at least believe me. <coughs> Hallelujah. On the evidence of the miracles themselves. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. That I and my Father are not two separate persons, but I and my Father are one. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So when Jesus said there are the two witnesses, I and my Father, he was talking about his humanity and his divinity, and both bear witness. In this living word of God, that Jesus Christ is God, manifest in the flesh. Hallelujah! Let's look to God in the prayer. Amen. God bless you. Hallelujah! Let me hear, let me rejoice our beloved brother. Hallelujah. Amen. Conceal, pray for us. Hallelujah. Let's stand and pray. Praise the Lord. Thank you. Hallelujah. Amen. <coughs> Let's all stand together. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus. Father, thank you so much for this evening. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you very much. God bless you all. Thank you.